The UK antitrust regulator has given the green light to Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard, the company behind the popular game, Call of Duty. After initially rejecting the $69 billion deal, Britain's competition watchdog has now granted final approval to Microsoft's acquisition of video game developer Activision Blizzard. This decision removes the final hurdle for the tech giant to complete one of the largest transactions in history. The approval from the Competition and Markets Authority was anticipated as they had already granted tentative approval to Microsoft's revised proposal aimed at alleviating concerns that the merger would negatively impact competition and the gaming community. The acquisition of Activision, the creator of the highly acclaimed Call of Duty game franchise by the Xbox manufacturer, marks a resounding triumph in their endeavour to obtain the company. In order to overcome the regulatory hurdles presented by British authorities, the companies involved in the merger agreed to an extension of the original deadline from mid-July to October 18th. The approval of the merger not only allows the companies to move forward, but also exempts Microsoft from paying a $4.5 billion penalty to Activision in the event that the merger does not come to fruition. According to the watchdog, the implementation of the New Deal will prevent Microsoft from monopolizing the cloud gaming market, ensuring that customers in the UK will have access to competitive pricing and services as this market continues to expand. After a comprehensive analysis, Microsoft's president, Brad Smith, expressed gratitude for the final verdict. With the passing of the final regulatory obstacle, the acquisition has been greenlit for closure. The benefits of this acquisition, we believe, will be felt by gamers and the gaming industry on a global scale. These were the words of the individual in charge. The announcement was met with approval by Activision CEO Bobby Kotick, who expressed his enthusiasm, stating, We eagerly anticipate integrating with the Xbox team. As of January 2022, Microsoft announced a deal and has since received the green light from antitrust regulators in over 40 countries. Notably, the 27-member European Union gave its approval on the condition that users and cloud gaming services can stream Microsoft's games for a decade without paying any royalties. The agreement encountered opposition from regulatory bodies in both the United States and the United Kingdom. These regulators expressed concern that the agreement would hinder competition within the video game industry. Additionally, Sony, a major competitor, was apprehensive that the arrangement would restrict the ability of PlayStation players to access Activision's enduring military shooter series, Call of Duty. The United States Federal Trade Commission attempted to halt the deal and have their in-house judge review it, but their request was denied in court. Despite this setback, the FTC has not abandoned their efforts to prevent the deal from going through. They have filed an appeal against the decision and have given notice of their intent to continue the trial after the deal has already been completed, indicating their determination to undo the merger. The final hurdle impeding the completion of the transaction was the regulatory board in the United Kingdom. However, after Microsoft revised its offer in August, the CMA granted its approval. In light of the revised agreement, Microsoft will divest its cloud streaming privileges for all upcoming and pre-existing Activision video games in the next 15 years, but only for regions outside the European Union and three other European nations. These rights will be transferred to game development company Ubisoft Entertainment, headquartered in France. In April, British regulators had initially barred the transaction due to worries that Microsoft might withhold Activision titles from the growing cloud gaming industry, which allows gamers to bypass the purchase of expensive consoles and instead stream games to their tablets or smartphones. In an unusual turn of events, the UK regulatory body made the decision to postpone their final verdict, citing a desire to reassess the situation. Additionally, they agreed to halt the appeals process at the request of Microsoft. The approval of the EU was one of the factors that played a role, which was granted to Microsoft after they promised to automatically grant royalty-free licenses to cloud gaming platforms for Activision titles. Additionally, according to court documents, the regulatory body stated that it needed to consider another material change of circumstance. This change was due to an agreement signed between Microsoft and Sony. 
which ensures that Call of Duty will be available on PlayStation for a minimum of 10 years. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.